Now to the tragedy that happened last night. Police say the father of a four-year-old boy who was shot and killed is facing charges in the child's death. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy is live at 1700 Place Apartments off Monroe Road in Southeast Charlotte. And Robin, what else are police working to find out today? Brian, CMPD tells me it's still unclear tonight, and they're still looking into whether the child got a hold of the gun and shot himself. His father was arrested early this morning. Just a lot of chaos, commotion. Everybody was coming out trying to see what happened. Christina Shaw won't easily forget the cries for help. I heard the woman screaming. It was so chilling and for them to say, like, call the police, call the police. I knew something extremely bad was happening, especially when it went from like five police cars to like 10, 15 and ambulance. And they were out here for a pretty good while, too. So we knew something tragic has happened. Police say four-year-old Demario Warren was shot and killed at the apartments on Charleston Place Lane Wednesday night. Investigators are not saying if they believe the shooting was accidental. They arrested DeMario's father, 25-year-old Deshaun Warren, and charged him with involuntary manslaughter and selling or giving a weapon to a minor. That really broke my heart. I wish that there was better, you know, gun control with that. That should have never happened. That gun should never have been in any visible place for that child at all. Police say they're still looking into whether the four year old shot himself. I have nieces and nephews too, so I would never expect something like that to happen. Now, there is still some discrepancy tonight on that second charge for Warren. Officials say the first charge is involuntary manslaughter. But according to jail records, the second charge is selling or giving a weapon to a minor. But CMPD tweeted out today that Warren is charged with improper storage of a firearm. So we're still working to get some clarification on that second charge. We have reached out to CMPD and have not yet heard back from them. We'll be sure to pass along any updates to you just as soon as we get them. I'm live in Southeast Charlotte. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News. Yeah, that investigation will continue. Robin, thank you.